Hello all, Seriously is here. Time to finish up expeditiously. Uh, we got a lot to do today, even though there's only two more milestones to do for the entire save. Actually, three. I was not able to finish the Explorer's Guild missions. <clears throat> so it turns out some of those stacked, uh, what did we do last time? Minerals missions? Uh, they weren't for the Explorer's Guild. I was two, how many missions short am I? I should have already targeted it. Don't worry about that Explorer. I already, uh, sorry, Exotic. I already bought it. Let's switch into it and scrap it right away. It wasn't going to fly away on me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think I need two more missions. And I've already completed one. What I did was, when I handed in those missions and I was too short, I grabbed a photography mission for the Explorer's Guild. I went and quickly photographed the building it sent me to. And instead of handing it in, I flew to a new star system, the one we're in now. And then this ship landed, and I bought it, and then I hit record. <laughs> that's, that's, that's in between episodes. <clears throat> so... Scrap that, it was only a 5 million unit ship. I'm like, you know what, sure, why not, let's do it. Claim scrap, we can get uh, a couple more things, whatever, doesn't matter. I think we only got one module from that. Yeah, one pulse drive. We're gonna use it. Um, we can't fit it on that side anyway, so we'll put it in our only open slot over here. <laughs> Actually, can I hold this anywhere? <coughs> Yeah, we'll put it there, and we'll move it with our other modules. There we go. I did a little bit of inventory management before we started, but not much, actually. There we go. We got two storage augments. Let's put those in. We're going to do a little bit of finishing, because I think we're going to finish all of the milestones today. We're going to finish the save today. So let's finish some stuff. Let's get this as upgraded as we can. Let's get those modules installed on the freighter. <coughs> do I upgrade the size of that? And there's the last two slots for this rectangle. I mean, we have all of these here to also be able to be unlocked, but we do not have more modules at the moment. <laughs> all right, what is next? Ooh, that's not a bad looking fighter. Nice colors. <clears throat> I'm not really a fan of this mosquito nose, but it can look pretty good, and I think it does on this ship except for this engine. If this was a round engine on the back, single engine, I think that would look really nice. Normally red and yellow looks a bit weird, but with that much gunmetal, that looks really cool. And there it is again. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna buy any more ships. Not, not, we're not doing any more scrapping today. <coughs> Let's get started. So, the Explorer's Guild mission here we need, let's, let's go back onto that. We need two more. Yeah, we need to do two more. And we already have the photography one to hand in. Let's hand that in. Hand in missions. There we go. Explorer's Guild. That should get us to 29. Now, let's take a peek. I'm fairly certain that this is just to grab paraffinium. I told you we might need some paraffinium for the Explorer's Guild. Don't worry, I already have it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so source items. We're gonna have to fly somewhere. Uh, there we go, got it. Source items for the client. We're gonna have to go hand it in at a trade outpost that it's gonna mark for us. Hopefully in this system. <laughs> Actually, we need to find more systems, so even if it's not in the system, that's fine. We do need to go elsewhere. Where else are we gonna get to go today? Now, unfortunately, trade outposts, I do not think, have waypoint markers. And that's the biggest thing we need today. That's the most time-consuming aspect of what we're doing today. Uh, except, of course, for this one thing that I would like to do first. Uh, am I in a blue star system? <coughs> Where am I? I am in a blue star. Of course I'm in a blue star. Why wouldn't I be in a blue star system? Can't warp the freighter in here. We're not doing the freighter upgrades yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that at the end. All right, deliver the goods. <clears throat> is this one of the ones where we're gonna have to scan for it or is it just gonna point us straight at the trade outpost? I'm gonna keep an eye from orbit in case it's not sending us. I see a miner settlement right near us, which is great. I'm gonna try to park on 
this side so I know which way the miner settlement is. It's behind that. Oh, that's that's going to get us one waypoint marker. One down without having to activate any maps, which I have also purchased. Now, unfortunately, we need so many more um, markers, <laughs> waypoints, and I only bought 20 maps, so we're not going to get them all via map. <clears throat> and I bought the maps for, oh, excuse me, I bought the maps for, whatchamacallit, uh, inhabited outposts. So those mostly should have uh, waypoints at them. Okay, so that explorer's mission is done. We are now done for the explorers, hopefully. After we hand this in, we will find out. And that minor settlement is... Oh, whoa, creepy creature over there. Creepy creatures. Yeah, <clears throat> I still do have that mission to get to predators, but uh, I don't think we're going to worry about that too much. I swear that minor settlement should have been just right over here somewhere. Why can't I see it on the visor? It should have been right behind us and over this way a little bit. <clears throat> Are you guys seeing an undiscovered uh, building? I am not. Should I get in the ship and fly to it? I'm probably going to have to. Oh, there it is. Why is it not showing up? That's super weird. Was this jet jettison pod marker blocking it? That's weird, right? <laughs> well, at least I knew which way to go. <laughs> Trying to cheat me out of my waypoints game. I'm on to you. I am on to you. Okay, can I see it from here? Yeah, uh, no. Yeah, this is not showing up. That's weird. Oh well, I got it. <laughs> That's all that matters. Alright, so we need new systems as well though. Right, so should we do it here? No. That was good enough, I think, unless there's any other buildings I can see from here. Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Let's call in the ship with my last nav data. I spent all but one of the 21 nav data, so let's go in here real quick and maybe grab something off a table. Anything to grab? This is not one of the ones with the table. Well, there's this table. There's nothing on it. Mm, no, don't care. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> we're done here. We're heading off to a new system. Uh, yeah, we'll head off to a new system that can call the freighter in. Oh, I don't need to do that. That's silly of me. I just need to go to the galactic map. Okay. And on the galactic map, we can go. We don't have to go far. We are pretty far out of discovered territory. Anywhere we go should be undiscovered. Let's go to Agdad. Agadad? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> there was a space station here. I'm pretty sure it was a yellow star, so we can call the freighter in. And we really just need to discover it. <clears throat> and if there is a nice, say, lush moon with perfect weather, maybe we'll stick around here and finish up all of our waypoints. First contact. That's good. We need that. Let's go to the space station. Station number four, apparently. <laughs> That's what the symbol looked like. That is a long runway. Agadad. Agadad. Yeah, Agadad Station Beta. Okay. Uh, what are we getting out of here for? <clears throat> we don't need... We don't need to go here, do we? <laughs> What I would like to do is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I remember. We're handing in those missions now. <laughs> Let's get this explorer's milestone done, finally. This one I thought would take a while as well. 
surprised it took this long, to be honest. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to hand in missions. Can I not hand in missions here? Yes, I can. Okay. Should have that one to hand in. <coughs> and that should be there. Famous Explorer. Excellent. That mission is done. Or, milestone, sorry. It's a mission. It's a mission to do a milestone. <laughs> so we don't need any more missions from space stations. We're done with that. Let's go claim our reward. Uh, expedition. Famous Explorer. We got those. <coughs> and now we can mark... That's at 19 of 35. And this one is at 27 of 60. That's quite a few items, and I only have 20 maps. Let's just set that one as our target for now. I think we'll probably finish this one first. <clears throat> In fact, I don't know that we're even going to scan planets unless I see a moon that appears to be lush. Uh, or a waterless lush planet, doesn't matter if it's a uh, moon or not, as long as there isn't a bunch of water to get in the way. Unknown moon, we can take a look. <clears throat> I can't see with the sun at this angle what we're, we've got for, our, for each of these planets. Uh, there is another moon that we cannot see from here. Let's go take a peek. Uh, that looks frozen. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. All right, well, let's hit the road. Didn't see anything that I wanted to see right away. So let's go somewhere new. Oh, we didn't call the freighter in either. We'll do it in this system. I see two moons in this system as well. <clears throat> That's something we could do, is keep an eye out uh, when we're warping for moons. Moons in specific, just because they're going to be easier to circumnavigate because they won't have water, and they're generally more flat. You don't see as huge variations in terrain on moons as you do on planets. Okay, first contact, that's what we want to see. We also want to warp in the freighter. Uh, and we do need to go onto it to do that finishing, so let's take a look around at this system. I really like that deep red nebula. Wow, that's super cool. Uh, is that the moon over there? That is not a lush, though, is it? Abandoned. Doesn't even have an atmosphere. Or, or no, abandoned is desert, right? Yeah, cactus flesh. The other moon is also over there. All right, let's do our landing on... Uh, ah, 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 not on a frigate. <laughs> on the freighter. Sometimes hard to tell the difference when you've got a system freighter. They were very tiny. We gotta go all the way up to the bridge. What a hassle. <laughs> We've got 15 more star systems to discover. It's gonna take it's gonna take that much time to discover those star systems if we do nothing but warp. We're gonna spend at least about 30 seconds per warp, right? <clears throat> That's like half the rest of the episode. <laughs> we're definitely going to go way over time today if we're going to get anywhere close to finishing today. All right, all the way to the bridge. Let's get some more inventory slots. Add additional storage. And we have four, and using those four, we'll not just add four slots, but we'll also open the slot that they were in. So we've got five more slots on the freighter. We can send more stuff to it if we need to. Hopefully we won't need to. We're pretty much done. I could have come down those other stairs. That would have been closer to the ship. <laughs> I forgot that I don't have any ships except this one. <laughs> oh, what we got over there? It's not a moon and there's a lot of water, but it's really nice looking. Is it like fungal? Probably, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fungal mold. Okay, uh, we can take a peek at that other moon before we go. Head off into this red nebula. We are wasting a little bit of time doing this, but uh, I think we could maybe just have an extra long episode to finish this off. Like, not 40 minutes. Extra long. <laughs> Let's see if we can see it. Uh, no, we're facing a bad angle. 
We can't see beneath our ship from here. I can see the moon from here though, and it's either frozen or dead, so we are just going to warp without even scanning it. Uh, let's keep going to yellow stars. I don't need uh, anything in specific. Oh wait, uh, well, too late. <laughs> Only two planets here. That'll be quick to take a peek at. Uh, yeah. We don't need to worry about... Yeah, and we're more likely to find lush planets at yellow stars. Economy shouldn't matter, but the fact that there is an economy at all will be nice, because that'll mean there's a space station. A lot of water over there, but what do we got? A paradise planet. Well... That's tempting. This one has storms. <laughs> so this is not as tempting. A barren planet. Do we want to take a look? I sort of do want to take a look. It's a paradise planet and it looks like it has purple grass. Or red grass, maybe? I can't tell. If we get close and that has a yellow sky, though, I'm out of here. Because it sort of looks like it's got a yellow sky. The nebula here is not as pretty. Yeah, that's a nice sort of purple burgundy, and the atmosphere, I think, is purple. Okay, let's go take a peek. The water is green, teal. No, it's blue. Ooh, fascinating. Let's get around to the daylight side and take a look at this paradise planet. Purple sky is confirmed. Do we have an atmospheric uh, chromatic effect? Because the water seems to be foggy. Okay, no, it's gone blue. We just were too high up in the atmosphere still. Okay. We have trees. Oh, maybe we do have an atmospheric chromatic effect. Because my ship is not looking as green as it normally does. I didn't think purple skies had this much of an effect on the lighting. All right, I'm not seeing anything special. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I am seeing that. And while we're here, we may as well grab. We didn't have to use a map. And uh, yeah, we didn't even have to use the scanner. I just saw that. <laughs> OK, where is my milestone, please? Uh-oh. I'm not seeing one. Oh, there it is. Behind the ship. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice color grass. It's normally a nice color sky, but something about the combination just doesn't work well. If that was a blue sky, I think it would be nice. Nicer? More nice? <laughs> Alright. Off we go to the next star system. As soon as we can. There we are. Uh, that's a that's a yellow star. Sure. We're probably gonna have to refuel at some point. This thing is is crazy efficient on the fuel, and I have several warp hyper cores ready to go. So we're definitely gonna be able to finish this with the resources we have. Just a matter of how long it's gonna take us. contact. That's what we want to see. Skip that. That's not something we want to see. That's a dead planet. What do we got over there? No, I think we're good for seeing things. We're just going to head to the next one. Wait, what, what did that say? What was that? This is Dreams of the Deep. Yeah, okay. I'll input the coordinates. Sure, whatever. I'm out of here. <laughs> Off to another yellow star that I have not been to. Like this one with at least two moons. I think there's three planets and two moons. Maybe three planets and three moons. We shall see. I am happy that the moons aren't circling the same planet because that often means if you want to see both of them, you're going to have to travel all the way around a planet to the other side of it to see one of them. Oftentimes. Often. Not every time. That looks like it might be a moon or a faraway planet. 
That's a faraway planet. <laughs> the nest. Uh, no thanks. Uh, moon? Yeah, that's a frozen moon. We don't need to scan that. And the other moon is over... Oh, that could be a bluegrass lush. We might take a look. We might take a look. It is indeed. It doesn't say paradise, but... Why not go take a peek? If the weather is great, we can, uh, you know, activate some maps. It's only 20 seconds away. No time at all. What do we have in store here? Looks like purple sky. I think. Maybe blue. Might have shocked us by being red and ruin that purple. Ah, uh, sorry, ruin that blue grass. I think it's purple, though. Copper, paraffinium. High sentinel activity. Oh, yeah, no, what What color are these clouds? Purple? Yeah, that's purple. All right. Blue, well, teal and green splotches. Okay. Let's see what we can see around us. Let's just hit the scanner once with the ship by itself. Moons are pretty small. Okay, I don't see anything to land at. So, okay, well there's something. How close though? 30 seconds away, huh? That's like forever away on a moon. We're gonna see something before we get there. All right, let's fly to it though. That's only 10 seconds away now. There's something we just passed. So we could head back this way. What is this gonna be, a trade outpost? In, it is indeed, okay. If we hit scan from here, there's something over here to land at. This should have a waypoint marker for us. It does indeed. It says there's an unknown building over here too. Okay. Well, let's land at this one and we'll walk over to that one. First contact. Yeah, I knew that part. The animation here is going to eat up half our time. <laughs> no, it's a pretty short one. It doesn't have to go all the way up into orbit and show us the nearby surroundings, you know. I sort of can't help myself. I'm definitely going to pick up this word for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Are you a predator? I mean, you're not aggressive to me. And you're really cool looking. Flowers. Diet flowers. You know what? Do I have two pets? I think I do. Let's go into... I don't know why I would even... You know what, what, what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to bring this up on the, on the screen. And uh, there we go. Now it's on video. This pet, this animal is available at that address down in the bottom left corner. And I will take a picture. But I'm not going to adopt you. You can stay fed. Take a landscape photo of what? I didn't have a mission to take. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm done with missions. <laughs> Yeah, that's curious. Very curious. Now, and also because this is a moon, there might be some stuff. Every time we stop, we might be able to find something. See, there's... Oh, well, we do have storms. Hmm. That's okay, I guess. Alright, save and chart. Got to get a bunch of these done. How bad are these storms going to be and how long are they going to last? And do I have to turn the sound down or do we get that cool kind of storm that does no damage to us? Uh, no, it looks like it's actually doing damage. Okay, and it's a little bit loud. Yeah, yeah, it's going to get louder. So let's go in here and we'll turn that down to maybe two this time instead of one. There we go. That's a compromise, right? <laughs> All right, let's hit that uh, visor again. Because there's usually stuff close by. It's another reason to do moons, that everything is a little bit more compact. What's that over there? Shelter? Have I not been to that one? 
abandoned building. Trade terminal. I've been to those two, so I have not been to that shelter. Okay. And you know what? Storms are actually sort of helpful for exploring because they're going to let us use this jetpack. Okay. And every time we save and chart, that extra little animation time will help our jetpack recover. Awesome. It's all working out great. <laughs> I haven't had to use a single map yet, and we've discovered a bunch of stuff. Okay. Now it looks like I am out of stuff that I haven't gone to yet. Uh, unless that's one. No, that's the trade terminal. The ship is over there. Uh, ooh, no, abandoned building. Do abandoned buildings have waypoint markers? I don't think they do. Well, let's head over in this direction anyway, and we'll see if... Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, this is where I landed. Okay, let's activate a map. Inventory. I bought them for a reason. May as well use them. We got a bunch of stuff to get rid of. Oh, you know what we could do? We could, we could use some of these things, I think. Minor settlement detected. May as well go to that. How far away is it? Looks like it's far away. Yeah, I'm not spending an hour walking there. We've already been about half an hour. So let's just fly. Two minutes. Nope. Not good enough We're going into space. That's better. That's much more manageable. I love how that looks. Let's take a, ah, I can't get a good picture of that. Nah, never mind. We fell into into the atmosphere too quickly for my fingers to hit the snapshot button. <laughs> And we also went around to the dark side of the planet. We lost the sunlight. Yeah, yeah. Would have taken too long. But we can land here and get this one. And we can do a visor scan. Visor sweep of the area. See if there's anything else nearby. It feels even louder over here. Maybe I should turn it down to one. Oh, it ended. Okay, never mind. Storm clearing. Now it sounds a little bit faint, so I am going to turn it back up to five. I do want to hear Suit Lady. Instead of just being able to excuse myself for not hearing her, I want to say, yeah, I ignored her. It was my fault. <laughs> All right, well, the visor sweep didn't really uh, find anything new. Distress beacon? Uh, I don't know what a distress beacon means. We can go to it. Let's take a peek. What else do we got but time? And trees. Watch out for that tree. George of the Viking. Boing. Watch out for that rock. <laughs> and Oh, well, there's something to head to anyway. Even if that distress beacon is nothing, there is a building at the same distance. All right, that'll be interesting. Rather nice looking planet uh, when it's not storming. Oh, ouch, first of all, but secondly, that. Ooh, a crashed ship, huh? That is not a bad, bad looking Viper. All right, well, uh, while we're here, we already got the coordinates on the screen because of the cute animal, but let's do uh, the visor. There we go. Visor. There's the coordinates of this crashed ship. Cool, cool, cool. Positive 55.6, positive 102.8. And I don't think crashed ships have waypoint markers, unfortunately. So we're heading off to the next thing, which is not something on the visor. Well, darn. Let's activate a map. Oh, they weren't in the cargo. They were right there. What did we find? 
Nothing nearby, but a minor settlement again. Unless it's the one that we're sh actually the ship is at. Nope, that's a different one. Even further away. All right. So, if we're gonna do an hour-long episode, we now have about a half an hour left to find about 30 more. <laughs> Yeah, that's one per minute. I don't think we're going to finish today, even if we do a ridiculously long episode. We still have to find more star systems too. Maybe what we'll do is do as much as we can in 40 minutes. And I can continue off camera until we only have a few more to do. And then we'll come back for a finishing episode where we finish everything up. Get our golden vector reward, all that jazz, right? Okay, so we got another one to grab here. There it is. Save the chart. And hopefully we see something on the visor because I see jetpack flowers right over there. We can get to it easily. That nebula looks really good at night here. Wow, I like that. Alright, well, nothing in that direction. Uh, no, not seeing anything else around here, unfortunately. Alright, well, let's do one more map then. Because why not? And every one of these things that I detect... Oh yeah, look, it's right on my map. It's really close by. I don't know why I couldn't see that on the visor sweep. Um, let's take the ship. Um, yeah. Weird. I guess 900 units is too far away to show up on the visor. Maybe my multi-tool sucks. <laughs> Well, I mean, it sort of does. It's an alien multi-tool, and because it's a reward multi-tool, it has no open stack at all. So it's basically just a default multi-tool. It's got, uh, it's not even an alien orb experiment, though. It's just got an alien skin. It looks really cool, and it's S-Class. So it's got S-Class stats, but it's just default S-Class stats. Max slot is mostly what I care about. Because all the, all the guns do way more than and enough damage uh, without being on an alien or an experimental. They don't need to be on that. Man, there's no... I'm not finding any buildings near me wherever I land somewhere, except for that first site we were at. Proving me wrong. Thanks, game. <laughs> Alright. We'll just hit a map every single time we land if we need to. That was not a very high zoom up. Did you find something that close by? <laughs> Maybe. Shelter detected, huh? Okay. Mm, that seems far away. It might not even be on planet. Where? Where's the shelter? Did you just say destination reached? We're, we're here already? This is not a shelter. Do you even see the shelter buildings? Alright, well, let's activate another map then. <laughs> Well, that was a bit better of a zoom out. <laughs> Minor settlement, okay. I'll take it. Especially if it's not one that I've been to already. Which it might be. Is that 900 away? Yeah, that seems like it's one we were already at. Well, we'll know when we get there because... Uh, the waypoint will have been triggered already. And it won't say save and chart. It'll just say save. And it'll have cost us some time to figure out. <laughs> uh, I guess I can't land. I think it was unavailable. I'm gonna have to break some trees. Just barely missed some trees. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's a new one. Alright, I think that's going to be it for today. But let's quickly...
take a peek at the progress. How far have we come? What are we at? I don't know why it stops keeping track. <laughs> okay, we need 12 more star systems discovered and we need less than 30. That's pretty good. We need 24 more waypoints discovered. Okay, all right. What does this guy look like? That's the one without the shrooms on his back, just the shroom on the head. Really colorful. It's got like the gem. Oh, wow. This one is really unique. Really unique. I have not seen a bone crab like this one yet. Cool. Yeah. And there is the, you know what? I'm going to take another screenshot with that gone off in the middle. Uh, wait, no, stop. Disappear, disappear. There we go. And I'll just do the F12 way. That'll capture. That'll capture the address in it. So I know why I took that screenshot. <laughs> okay, let's make a save. And let's make a wave. And until next time, everyone. Have a good time. <laughs>